You guys keep asking me how to swing. Today I'm going to teach you how to swing. Welcome to the pole vault. Blah. Blah. Welcome to the pole vault vlog where we talk everything pole vault and occasionally a little bit of things about track and field. We haven't done that in a while. A few things before we get started. You know, it makes sense that if you guys like these videos, there's a button for that. It's called the like button. I hear if you push it, rainbows and unicorns will come flying out and um, you might find a leprechaun's gold. Also hit that subscribe button so you guys get notifications on everything Team Hoot related. I got multiple channels. You can go subscribe to them all if you want. They all talk about different things. I want to apologize to everyone. I had, you know those training programs I put up? Different sources and I created a program and then I tested it. I tested it on my athletes and that produced two state record holders and multiple state champions. The promo code was set for 2018 somehow. So I screwed up, so I reimbursed everybody, even if they didn't even try to put the promo code. But because I screwed up, I'm going to I'm gonna keep it, the promo code open for 10% off all the way through uh, May 11. A whole nother week to get those training programs for cheaper than they could be. Another interesting thing that I thought you guys could help me out with was VS Athletics reached out to me about, they're essentially giving me a code so that if people buy things on their website, it helps promote me and this channel and continues to keep it going. They sell spikes and pole vault pits and shoes and discs, disc, everything you could ever imagine track and field. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that and um, taking the reins. If so, I will jump on that. Maybe I get some things to review, shoes and all sorts of different stuff and show you guys what's the best. And in doing so, it helps you and it helps me keep making these because I don't want a real job. I like this job. Last week, I went to Athens, Wisconsin and ran a pole vault camp. Guys, I'm at Athens High School again. This is the same high school as that last year. Um, I'm about to uncover their pit for them. It's been raining all day, but it stopped now. So we're gonna get rolling. Uh, got guys, Instagram? You got Twitter? I got Instagram, YouTube, Grolski212. Gotta do something cool. Make sure I put it in there. It's got a cool trick. Instagram is Caden Decker 52. Uh, last year when I went to Athens, we really hammered on the plant. And Ken Craft, the amazing Ken Craft, hammered on the plant for a year after that. And their plants look pretty dang good. So we hammered on the swing and the inversion. Here. That's good. So I want you to rock back where your legs come almost behind your head, then throw it. Yep. Now chuck it. How much more power you had? Yeah. Okay, now throw it a little sooner. And smash! Perfect! Also, Ken had one of those swing up racks. I don't know if you guys have seen those. Vaulting rack here. Tim Warner makes those things, and I love Tim. He let me ride on his boat one time. Yeah, I might do a comprehensive review on that thing, because it is, it's kind of slick, actually. I really enjoyed it, and it helps kids get the feeling of getting upside down. And Doing Team Hoot pole vault camps is one of my all-time favorite things, and I would love to do more of them. And oh man, I love those kids. They just work hard and they listen and they try things and super fun. Long story short, I would love to do a lot more of these camps. Um, sometime this week or next week, I'm gonna make a whole video on the Athens camp and try and combine all the Team Hoot camps I've combined and uh, try and get a promotional video about what I can do and what I can offer. And if you guys would like me to come out to your club, your camp, your school and run a little one or two day clinic. I think that would be awesome and it would be beneficial for you, for you and your program, for your kids and for me. So I can keep doing this versus working at Chipotle, which actually would be pretty sweet because I love Chipotle. Anyways, let's teach you guys a few things about the swing. If you ask people about the swing and you ask, hey, what's the purpose of the swing? Most people say, to get upside down, Sean, duh, because it doesn't just do that. The swing keeps energy into the pole. So when I was working with these kids at this camp this last weekend, what I'm always trying to tell people in these videos, zoom out, is that when they swing, they swing to get upside down. Pretend, pretend this is a little vaulter. This is their head, this is their feet, where they're bending. Pretend it's a kid, kids don't really bend like this, but you get what I'm saying. Most kids just swing to get upside down, right? A lot of kids do, and then they come up short and land on top of the bar. When reality, the swing is to get upside down and move forward. One of the drills I had the Athens kids do is they were swinging, but I wanted to see them try and knock the bar they were holding over, try and tip it over. And by tipping it over, that's energy you're being added into this whole system. So by swinging to get upside down, okay, 
but by swinging for distance to get upside down, you're adding more energy into the high bar that you're holding on to, which is essentially the pole. You add more energy in the pole, the pole bends more, you get on bigger poles, you hold higher, you fling upside down, it flings you up in the air higher, and then you PR. That's how it works. Oh, and it keeps the pole moving forward. This is the pole, you can swing to here, and then you get upside down, the pole stops moving. You swing for distance, and to get the pole upside down, bam, pole goes to vertical, good things happen. A good drill for this is if you're hanging on a high bar, you have a kid try and swing out and kick your hand, and then swing up. And then if they kick it, you move their hand out a little more, and then a little more, and then a little more, and then a little more. And before you know it, they're swinging for distance, adding more energy into the swing, and they're rocking the crap out of getting upside down. Win, 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 win. That's number one. Part two of the swing. The other thing I see that kills a swing, if you wanna kill a swing the same way a silver bullet kills a werewolf, or the same way a garlic kills a vampire, what else, what other mythical creature can you kill? What kills unicorns? Voldemort. If you want Voldemort to kill a unicorn, is to bend your arm. Swing will stay alive if your arm is straight. As soon as you do this and pull, try and pull yourself up the pole, your swing goes, boom, dies. It's completely dead and the pole stops and people land in the box and sketchy, garbage, scary, nastiness, herpes happens. So here's what happens when you pull on the pole. You bend your elbows and try and pull yourself up the pole. It's a bad word in pole vault. Don't say it. Stops the pole from moving forward. You lose energy and it's physically harder. And if you don't believe me, go try and go onto a high bar, bend your elbows, and then try and swing up. And then try and keep your legs, or your arms straight, and then try and hit the pole, or the high bar, with your shoes. What one's easier? Let me know, I already know the answer. <laughs> it makes sense to pull up, because your whole life you've been climbing ladders, and climbing ropes, and climbing trees, pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, but in the pole vault, does not work. You need to swing on it and you need to be longer. The longer you are, the easier it becomes because physics likes long levers. Does that make sense? I'll cut this little chunk out and I'll call it how to swing and I'll post it separately so it's shorter so you don't have all this other stuff to go through if you just need to explain to your kids or if you are an athlete and you're like, oh yeah, how did Sean explain swinging again? That's how to do it. Let's review some videos. All right, first jump is from Adam. Ooh, that's a nice jump, dude. All honesty, this is an easy one. Pole's too small. You must be a cook, because you turned it to spaghetti. Uh, and then your grip's too low. Because that pole became spaghetti. It's hard to pole vault on spaghetti. So, <laughs> really, technique looks great, man. It's just up pulls up grip and then it will throw your technique out the window again and then we'll have to start all over but great jump man just a little more pull a little more grip also i'm trying this new screen recording thing tell me if it looks different or better or worse i might have to go back to the other one we'll see this one is from andrew andrew sent a video i think last week or a couple weeks ago he told him to move up poles because just like the last jump was too small and he went up poles and guess what it's too small again. See how that's coming back behind you? And then what ends up happening is if you get rocked by the pole, if you hit the box first, it kind of smashes you. So see how we're leaning back just a little bit at takeoff? And then you fix it nicely, but it's always easier to jump with everything going forward than this back and forward kind of swoopy, sweepy motion. God, if you would have done that on that jump, you need to go up like two or three poles. Sick dude, sorry these reviews are getting kind of stupid for you. You're just jumping too awesome. All right, this one's from Jack. Good jump, man. I dig it. Let's try a different cue, a new cue. I say the same thing. Let's take a cue. We're seeing the same thing, right? Leaning on a little bit back at takeoff. I want you to look at the box when you plant. Look down at the box, and that'll keep that chest down. It works for me. It made it so if I didn't do that, I'd jump 17 feet, and if I did do that, I jumped 18 feet. Like instantly, that one little cue fixed everything. So when you jump next time, I want you to think about looking down at the box, which will help you lean forward and get that good stretch reflex we've been talking about. Good jump. P-A-Y-N-E, pain. All right. This is, per I was hoping I'd get one of these today, uh, cause all that bent elbow stuff we were talking about, I'll show ya. Looks good, looks good. And 
and right when we plant, that elbow starts pulling. I don't know if you can see it through that little triangle thing. So bent elbow, yeah, let's try that. Elbow's really pulling on the pole, so it's pole stops moving forward. And then he's just kind of hanging on for dear life, which makes it really hard. It's like trying to ski with your arms bent. You know, it's like you get really tired really fast versus if you just let the boat pull you. If you learn how to wakeboard or ski, they teach you that, you know, that's like 101. Pole vault's the same way. You're making it really hard, man. You're so strong, you're getting away with it because you're on a little pole and it's working, but you'll jump a foot higher. If you just swing on the pole, keep this arm straight and let it go all the way to your quad and pull just your bottom arm into your chin instead of trying to pull yourself in. This never works in the pole vault. And we'll watch it fast so you can kind of see it one more time. But you run so good, man. And you're really aggressive with everything else, so you're making it work. But if we can just be taller and longer and straighter and levers, <laughs> The vault's gonna be really easy for you. You're in PR by like a foot. I'm not even has. I'm not even exaggerating. A foot PR is in your future if you can learn to swing and invert with straight arms. Sick. Another perfect video to review. H O S S E I N. Haz Hazain. He was saying he's struggling getting into the pit. Feels like he's landing in the box and he's afraid he's gonna bust his skull. Let's watch this. <gasps> yup, I'm scared for you too, man. First off, I'd go down a pole. It's just a little too big while you're practicing some of these new skills. So if we do this the slow-mo way, that top arm is bent big time. So if you watch, I've made a whole video about the plant. I'll link it right here. You guys can go check that out too. But we need that arm straight at takeoff because it's gonna go straight no matter what. Let's watch. Oh, now it's straight, but now you're in this like backwards position, which hurts and it's really hard. And then we were talking about the uh, swing today, right? I'm pulling on the pole and the pole's moving forward, it's moving forward. And then as soon as you pull yourself up, arms bend and the pole stops moving and then danger. So that's what I mean, guys. We need tall, long levers. And then while we swing, stay long. But super good props to you, man, for not letting go. You held on. Oh, I guess he did let go. <laughs> Don't ever let go of the pole. That's rule number one, guys. Better. So check this out. Arm still bent there, but he kept it straighter, 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 longer, and he got deeper into the pit. Right at the very end, he pulled out it, and the pole stopped moving again. But same idea. Let's see if this is any better. And bent elbow. Right there, we're pulling on the pole. Yep, same thing. They all start to look the same after a while. Oh man, that one looked really scary. Oh jeez. Yeah. Good, that's how you write it out, man. Not like that other one, like that one. So, <laughs> yes. Straight arms, long levers, more energy, higher PRs. Bing bang, biggity bam, boom. Thanks for sending videos, guys. That was a really good jump. Those couple little fixes, Man, you're gonna be flying. Thanks for watching. If you wanna send me videos, go to team-who.com slash gear, donate your five bucks and I'll review them. If you're one of the first five of the week, you'll make the vlog. If you wanna make the vlog, you don't have to make the vlog. There's, there's a little questionnaire that'll tell you. Also, only a week left on those Team Hoot training plans to get them cheap. I'll leave them up, but if you want them for 10% off, which will save you like 30 bucks, you should do it. If you guys would like me to run a camp or a clinic this summer, I would love to do that. Um, instead of having my own little personal camp at a school this summer, I would like to travel around and kind of run a Team Hoot traveling training camp. Let me know if you guys are interested. I would love to come to your school, club, uh, house, backyard, beach, flat, country, swimming pool, vehicle? I don't know, wherever you guys pull out. I'd like to come there and help you out. Let me know what you, what you would like me to talk about next week. Like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. God, I always just take too long to end this. Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. See you tomorrow.
Bum 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 b